你好 ，Welcome to 第六课 ，Lesson Number Six in Chinese Numbers. Today we cover one of the most hated topics of math in elementary school: fractions. But it's actually quite simple. So let's go. So if we have a fraction that looks like this, we read it as two thirds in English. In Chinese, however, we read it backwards. So we would say the three first. And then the two first, and then the two two second. So you'll see how that works in a moment. Let's introduce a couple characters or words.、Um, so, fen. This character means piece or section. Fen.、Um, you can it can also mean、uh, as a verb. Can also mean share. Can also mean minutes, like in an hour, but. Today we're only covering the use of fun as a as piece or a section. You'll see why in a moment. The second character is zhi, and、um, it means of. But be careful, this zhi works backwards. For example, if I say music of America, and I want to replace of with zhi, I would have to say America zhi music. So in it, in fact, it works a little bit like an apostrophe s, apostrophe s. So, like America's music, America z music. Now, how does this all fit into Chinese and fractions? Let's look at two thirds again. So in Chinese, we read this as. 三分之二 Let's break that down. So 三分 means three pieces. Z, as you might remember,、uh, means a backwards of or apostrophe s. Er is just two. So seven z er literally means three pieces two, or two of three pieces. Makes logical sense, right? So now that you're ready, let's practice. So. What's seven ninths in Chinese? Nine pieces and seven out of the nine pieces. Nine twelfths. Seven twelfths. Last one. Seventeen thirty eighths is. It's that easy. Great job! With more practice, you should become pretty good at this. So, as a prize, I'll teach you some extra supplemental stuff. There's an easier word for one half, and that is 一半 And of course, you can say 二分之一 but we typically just say 一半 And this character, this one, 半 just means half and is used a lot. Like twelve、um, thirty would be 十二点半 We'll get to that in another lesson. To say percentages in Chinese, you just say it like a fraction out of a hundred. For example, forty-eight percent is 百分 one hundred pieces. Um, 之四十八百分之四十八四十八 forty-eight. So, it we just say it like forty-eight hundredths. 百分之四十八 forty-eight percent. It might sound weird at first since we just say percent in English, but that's how we say it in Chinese. And um, one hundred percent is. 百分之百，百分之百 ，it's used really, it's used quite often. Decimals are even easier than fractions, unlike in English. There's no tens, hundreds, thousands garbage. If you have a long fraction like eleven and eight thousand three hundred thirty-six ten thousands, we just say in Chinese, 十一点八三三六，点 literally means point or dot. So that's all for today. I'm going back to solving my cube.
Eh, tidak. 